everyone, welcome to our second Java app the tutorial in Eclipse. In the first tutorial we were done uh, putting our applet and today I'm going to show you how you can compile and run it. When you use a texture like Eclipse or NetBeans, it's really easy to show the result of your program. When you come up here in Eclipse and click that green button, Eclipse, Eclipse is going to run the applet for you. As you can see, we have a black background, a green re rectangular, and a red oval. Eclipse has its own applet viewer. That's why it's easy to show. Uh, that's why it's e easy to see the result of your code or program. But in real life, an applet, an applet needs an, uh, a browser or a web page. So how do you do that? I want to show you here a very, very basic, simple HTML code and tags. You're going, you're going to come to between body tags, and you, you are going to have a new tag as an applet. And we will put the name of our Java class or program as a class X. That is important. If you put here that Java, it's not going to work. It has to be that class. And we have to save it in the same directory with our applet program. So I'm going to come here and say YouTube. Uh, no, I'm sorry, applet YouTube. I want applet YouTube. Applet YouTube dot html I have to save it as an html file and all files and save it now when I come to the same directory with my with my java applet file I'm able to see an applet uh, browser page here so but there is something as I said we need a applet underscore youtube dot class file to run that applet in, in the web class. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and say cd and I'm going to run the common prompt. What we need to do is we need to compile our program then it will create a dot class file for us. So where I want to go, I want to go my workspace I want to go my uh, um, applet YouTube and CRC. As we can see here, we have uh, we have a applet underscore YouTube dot Java file and an HTML file. So how I'm going to create my class? I will say Java C and the name of the Java file. So I'm going to just click enter. If you don't have any er errors, that means you should have that class file right now. And as we can see here, we already have it. And also we can go here and we already have applet underscore YouTube dot class file. Now, if we run the uh, this HTML file, you're going to be able to see the results. And I just double click it, it is going to open the web page. You can say, okay, I will say yes, and there we go. Yes, as you can see, it works. All right, this is the basic tutorial, and I hope you liked it. And please subscribe to our channel and share your comments with us. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.